Dear me, three to six months. Watch how I make you proud. Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Xavier. This is Tech Xavier, where I help me help you go further in tech. In today's video, I am going to share my official plan of execution around getting more than a few certifications in the 2024 calendar year, specifically between now and like May. So I have, I've, I've had a little bit of uh, certification envy. <laughs> There's some people that have been on LinkedIn that have been posting, Hey, I got this certification. Hey, I got this certification. And I'm like, man, I have all these vouchers that I need to, I need to claim because this stuff has been paid for and I need to, uh, need to make good on what, what's been purchased. So I set out to just review what I had in terms of active vouchers and also set some dates for taking the exam. Uh, for me, once I resolve to get something done, I'm just going to work towards getting it done. And so far I have a perfect record of one for one. That is studying for an exam and passing it on the first try with service now. And by far, I have to say that getting the CSA exam was probably one of the more difficult ex exams that I have had to take because my impression of service now was just ease, right? And when you go into any exam thinking things are going to be just super duper easy, sometimes the prep materials are a nice reality check. And I'm glad that I took my time and it took me about two weeks to get prepared for that exam. Now, some of these other exams that I'm looking at are less about administrating the platform and more about implementing the platform, which from what I have heard is easier than the CSA. So I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not going to shortchange or uh, take, take for granted what I need to do. But I think if I was able to get the CSA done while also working full time and, you know, dedicating a set amount of time. I think my study habits have improved since then. So I feel good about this, this uh, roadmap. And the good thing is that I have given myself enough time so that I can always move back a date for an exam. So this first section you see, these are just the, the vouchers that I had. So I wanted to give myself a mental note. Uh, these links link out to the pages on the left side, which I'll talk about a little bit later, but scrolling down, what I did was I gave myself a start and an exam date. Um, for each of these different exams I need to take. So the first one that I'm going for, um, which is near and dear to my heart, is the implementation specialist for ITSM. So the product that our organization is currently using is ITSM. I'm very familiar with it. It was one of the more <laughs> stressful periods for me, which was implementing this thing successfully. Still a lot of work ahead, but I feel comfortable with this as a start. So I'm going to start here. And today is actually the sixth. So I'm going to be doing a fairly long study session since it's a weekend and doing that today and tomorrow and every day thereafter. Uh, during the week, I find that two hours is comfortable for me. Um, there may be some days where I can get more or less time in, but two hours works well for me. And then I have, you know, weekend days uh, off and sometimes I have like every other day of the week off. So those days where I'm completely off of work, this is where I'm going to put my attention. So there'll be a slightly longer study sessions, more focused and just give me time to really feel good about mastering, you know, item number one, going into the product documentation and doing enough work in the labs where I feel comfortable uh, and understand what is being asked of me in terms of this role. And I'm going to take lessons learned from this study session and roll them over to every other implementation specialist certification that's available. So I have about five more listed. So ham for hardware asset management, SAM software asset management, uh, SPM or PPM, depending on who you talk to, but basically project portfolio management. And then we have CSM, which is customer service management and then service mapping. Now service mapping is more in line with ITOM and ITOM is basically the act of getting the operational side of IT intact. So IS, ITSM is more of like, this is what the, these are, this is the outcome you want, you know? So you want these outputs to run so that people are made aware and there's alerts and things like that. But operationally, 
how do you keep up certain IT assets, certain uh, configuration items? How do you keep everything up to date so that change is 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 um, is happening effectively? So that knowledge is happening effectively? So that incident, major incident, event, and service request management are all happening effectively? That's what ITOM sets the base foundation for, and so. Service mapping is one of those things where it's, it's a big piece of ITOM. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but you know, you can definitely look into service mapping. The other side of that is usually discovery. And I think those are the two implementation specialist certifications in those areas, but I could be wrong. And then in order to qualify me for the CTA, which is my really my next big milestone, I need to get the CAD and the CAD is short for certified, excuse me, application developer. So with this particular certification, there is a decent amount of coding. I, I, I talked to somebody and asked them, hey, what do you need to do to you know get good in this area? And they're like, product documentation. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll look into this a little bit more, but I don't think it's that simple. Um, I'm not a coder, but I am working towards that. And um, I know that ServiceNow makes use of a lot of JavaScript. So I definitely will be working towards getting mastered around that. But again, ultimately, my plan is to qualify for the CTA program by July 2024. And if need be, I might move around this date in particular. So this CAD, this might move actually to, um, if I need to, I might move this down to this level and just study, study, study and give myself a, a longer date to finish that. Just because there may be some free code camp learnings I need to get into or something else to kind of augment or um, supplement my my lack of coding skills. So that said, um, I gave myself a reminder. This is my badge here. These are all my scheduled exams. They're all online proctored. So I need to make sure my setup is right. But I scheduled all these on the third um, just to, again, get myself in the zone and get ready. Now, in terms of this notebook, I am going to share this this notebook with you, so you'll have access to this. And what will happen essentially is I haven't built this out yet, but I will, you know, each each section is dedicated to the specific certification I'm going after. Each page would be dedicated to like a table of contents for the other sub pages. And then it'll be like um, I'm thinking just one sub page and just a large table but that table will have uh, links that you can click to other areas of the, of the, um, of the page. So for the best experience with this OneNote, I highly suggest that you open it up. If you're you, if you're share, looking at this shared environment and you want to make use of all the links and the way I do things, um, open this up in the desktop version of the application and you should have a, I call it the bloatware version of OneNote already installed on your device if you have Windows. And so you can simply just go here and then open a desktop. So you'll have view access. I'm not letting anybody add notes to my notes, but this is a good starter point if you want to um, just see how I'm approaching the study, uh, study work. And if it works for me, if I pass, then this might be something you want to work off of. If I fail, then you might want to reevaluate, <laughs> uh, you know, your, your study tactics. Um, so that they are more improved or they, they, they fit, you know, your, the way you think about things. So, yeah, that's essentially it. Uh, I'll be filling these things up as I go along. I am a little nervous, uh, but I'm confident that I can apply myself and get through this. It's no different than anything else I've had to study for or just work towards. And I know that the routine, my habits and my commitment to, to both are what's going to carry me through this. So. If you are getting ready to start on your study journey for the C CIS ITSM, then by all means, let's study together, let's compare notes. Um, let me know in the comments if there's anything else that would be helpful for me to share. And yeah, let's let's get ready to do this thing. Again, my roadmap and my plan is to, you know, take this first exam in 15 days so I have some work to do, but it's already scheduled. It's already ready to go. And I intend to conclude my studying on the 20th. So this will be 17 or 17, two weeks, 14 days uh, to really get this material in and uh, feel confident in doing so. So if you see me in some forums, if you see me posting things, just know the boy is trying to get 
this studying completed. So with that said, I am, I think I've rambled enough. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Really appreciate your support. And before I let you go, just remember that this study thing can be difficult. Uh, any pivot or any change you're trying to make for the better in your career is going to come with a little bit of growth pains and just some, some hard times. But what has helped me and what I suggest always is that you don't be hard on yourself. You just work hard on yourself. And this is what working hard on yourself looks like. It's creating accountability. It's looking at a system of approaching some problem. It's thinking and rethinking and re-engineering and engineering again and going back to the drawing board so that you can get to the best version of yourself when you're approaching any problem or task. And if you go follow that method, it just becomes a science as opposed to um, a self-esteem thing. So at that point, um, I'll let you go with that. And as always, have a good day and good luck on your tech journey. Peace. Dear me, three to six months, watch how I make you proud.